it on YouTube. JV World here. As always, I'm hoping each and every one of you are having a great day today. Uh, now, guys, before we even jump into today's episode, uh, don't be mad, but I do have quite a few announcements to go over. Uh, just a couple things I want to say, and uh, don't take my lack of super enthusiasm as these are bad announcements. There's nothing bad. It's all positivity. Uh, but at the same time, I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I was up till about 2.33 last night. I, I actually don't know what time I lost track of time editing a FIFA video. Uh, so I didn't even get the chance to play MLB last night. Uh, I had softball, then finished editing the video that went up last night, uh, the Jose Reyes debut. Uh, and then I edited a FIFA video, which should have came out today at 4 p.m. I do believe I, I got that up in time. Uh, I did say in the previous video yesterday or the day before that that was going to be live yesterday, but it's out today. Uh, so go ahead and show that some love. You're more than welcome to. Uh, I, I really, really like playing FIFA. I love FIFA. I've been a FIFA fanboy. I wouldn't say a fanboy, but I've definitely loved FIFA since like FIFA 10. And so, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm not the greatest in the world. I, I definitely think I'm better at MLB. Not to say that I'm great at MLB, but I'm definitely better at MLB uh, than I am in FIFA, especially since realistically speaking, MLB is kind of more USA where FIFA is damn sure international and uh, you just get competition from everywhere in FIFA. Uh, but guys, I didn't even play MLB last night at all. I, I, I Actually, I played the challenge of the week and sucked while I was waiting for my video to render like a couple tries. That I That was terrible. I cannot hit with Will Myers to save my life. And that was just, it was really bad. However, guys, uh, around, I don't know exactly what time, but last night or early this morning, we hit 2,000 subscribers, and that is freaking awesome. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, 2,000 plus strong so far. We don't have a name for ourselves, but we will one day, someday. Uh, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you, whether you subbed at 10 subs, 100 subs, 50, 1,000, 2K, or, or whatever in between or, or going on. I, I just really hope you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm putting, uh, you know, putting effort into every day. And I, I just want to, you know, I'm still learning, but I want to make the best videos for you guys to watch. Whether you come here, and I repeat this over and over, whether you come here for 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes, 15. Sometimes I make longer videos, sometimes I post 2 or 3 videos. I, I just hope that, you know, if, you know, if you're into MOB videos, you like the video. If you're into FIFA videos, that you, you know, you find me entertaining enough for you to want to watch that. Or if it's a 2K pack opening. Whatever it is, I just want to say, guys, I'm super thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, next, really quickly to touch up on, is there a 2K subscriber giveaway? The answer to that is yes and no. Uh, there isn't a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. What I'm doing now is, regardless, if I don't hit 3,000 next month, every month, even if it's something small, I will be doing some sort of giveaway every month. Uh, so when December 1st hits, I will choose a winner and I will contact them and you know give them the prize whatever it may be just as a thank you for you guys of course we we hit uh we we went from 1000 to 2000 in less than a month which to me that's awesome because uh the first thousand took a little longer uh but but we're growing and it's it's awesome honestly and it was just barely under a month i think it was uh 28 or 29 days so that's freaking dope so uh the the information for the giveaway i put it in the description of every single video you guys are more than welcome to check that out basically uh every time i post a video whether it's fifa 2k madden or mlb a tweet automatically goes out and if you follow me at jivy world you see it uh, to enter that all you have to do is retweet it every time a video goes out I also copy the link and post it on my at Jivy world Facebook account and all you have to do is hit share and That's it and that is the reason this channel is growing because a lot of you are doing that and you know new people are seeing You know, you know Jivy world, you know a few people who don't have never heard of me never seen my channel find out who Jivy world is and they come and they say you know what this is good enough to subscribe to so it's because of all you who click the videos, click like, you know, comment and, and share, YouTube says, hey, let's keep showing this channel for other people to find. So I thank each and every one of you for that. And uh, 
recently when I did started doing this uh, give this format for giveaway again this was never my idea I completely stole this from H3H3 Productions that they were doing this for a while I don't know I'm not sure if they do it anymore huge uh, YouTube channel if you know if you like funny if you want to see some funny stuff just go to H3H3 Productions that's all I'm saying uh, but they did this format for giveaways and I was like well that's a really good idea now I you know it's not like you know, I didn't hit 3,000 subs this month, so I can't, you know, I can't give back. So now I'm just doing something every month. And this month I said, uh, if you share on Facebook, I will choose one random video and I will go through everyone who shared it. And I will then contact them and say, hey, thank you very much. Uh, here, here, you know, here's, you know, whatever the giveaway is. Uh, and so far, you know, do I pick these winners biasly no but i kind of have a feeling who's gonna win because there's there's one person who has shared literally every single one of my videos so shout out to you you know who you are really appreciate it uh it's helping tremendously uh now another thing that i want to say is uh for all you new guys who just reached this channel whether this is the first video you've seen thank you welcome um a lot of you are coming from my most recent battle royale run a lot of you uh, have seen that video those videos and that may have been what drew you here uh, So if you didn't see that battle royale run before I jump into this one um, Not plugging myself in for views. I just genuinely think that it was a good battle royale run and it was fun and emotional so uh, at the end of every video I put uh, you know the the end screen you know the new feature the great feature from YouTube absolutely amazing where at the end of the video you can add interactive things that actually work on even mobile so when a video is over there my logo pops up and you can click it and subscribe and then I, you can just click and get jump into my playlist so at the end of every MOB video I put my Di Diamond Dynasty playlist and I put the Battle Royale playlist um, I'm not telling you to just go ahead and sit there and watch the entire playlist because although I love every video that I've made so far um, compared to you know the way the videos are now I, I wouldn't say that all the videos back then were as good although I am learning as I go um, so I'm hoping in the future my videos get that much better so I would suggest one thing though before you jump into this battle royale I do believe I would say watch battle royale run number 11 uh, I believe there were seven parts to that and honestly I had a lot of fun I just suggest watching that uh, those seven videos if you have the time um, and not just jump to the end of that because you know there there's there's ups and downs uh, But besides from that that's that's pretty much it I had one more thing to come up with and I completely just blanked out. Oh I literally just sat here for like the last five minutes trying to remember what I was thinking of uh, Also as I was saying moving into the future. There is a lot coming um, for MLB 17 uh, I do expect to be making quite a lot of videos uh, both MLB 17 related baseball related and just MLB related which is all the same thing um, since I do live in the Florida Florida area I will be posting some vlogs as well because I do plan on going to a lot of spring training games not gonna give any information away but I think there will be a little more than just you know watching from the crowd because I may or may not I uh, have some connects and hoping I'm hoping right now I, I just need to get in contact with a few people that it can just be a, a little more interactive so I can do a couple things uh, That maybe some of you guys haven't seen some of you guys may have some of you guys may be fortunate enough uh, I was definitely fortunate enough growing up that I had you know through my father a lot of connections and I met a lot of people I got to hang out with a lot of MLB players. I, I, I got to they, they you know gave me away lots of stuff Jose Reyes was somebody who I met when I was like 13 and he was just sending me bats, batting gloves, Manny Ramirez sent me wristbands, a glove, like, you know, I got to hang out with these guys. So maybe, may or not, there may be some cool things to come there. So, you know, I just, just look out for that. I'm, I'm really excited for 17. Uh, and yeah. But anyway, sorry that this introduction was a little longer than normal. I'm going to try to jump into this BR draft. I'm gonna try to get this draft in at least because I do have to go back to work pretty soon And also my, my puppy's laying under me and got only God knows how long he can be quiet So I'm gonna try to get the draft in uh, before I go there is no You know hottest wife draft there is no I'm just drafting and right off the bat 
it isn't even a question. This is one card I've yet to even try. So you know what? Hopefully he'll be our three game reward and we can get 99 overall Pujols. So right off the bat, not even a question. Um, I definitely blanked out because I had something else to say and I just completely forgot. Uh, but going into the second round, Pedro Siriaco. I expected more. I expected more from him as well. Uh, really, mm, nothing really special here. Maybe we can get a backup catcher in a bronze round. I'm realizing that you should definitely get a backup catcher in every single BR draft because just in case you you can be really really screwed if you don't. Uh, but you know what? Let's get starting pitching out of the way. I'm not even really looking at the names. Bronze rounds getting started pitching out of the way. Uh, silver round, we have Yoan Moncada, which, honestly, I'm excited to watch him play. Uh, even though I'm not a Boston Red Sox fan, I've heard a lot of good things about this guy. I'm hoping to watch him play in spring training. That's going to be pretty exciting. But uh, if we're trying to win, definitely going with a switch hitting shortstop. He can hit pretty well and play many positions. Uh, relief pitching, we got a bronze round. Might as well take a lefty now. Uh, need to make sure you have at least two lefties in your... In your uh, bullpen uh, here this is interesting because we can go with either bullpen and I can take Fernando Rodney you know what even though this is a bra a diamond in a gold round I'm not taking Steven Strasburg because I'm not gonna get that diamond in a one and five there's there's a very good chance we don't make it to five games and he'd never see the field Evan Longoria I don't love uh, Robinson Cano definitely love 89 86 70 pretty decent left-handed bat Fernando Rodney does look Fernando Rodney, 91 velocity, two seam, four seam slider circle change. If you had a cutter, this would be an absolutely unstoppable card. Um, 97 hits per nine. 93 home run per nine, 91 clutch. Control is not that great. Uh, damn, you know what? As much as I'd love to go with Robinson Cano, let's use this flashback, Fernando Rodney. It's been a while since I used that card. We still have another gold left. Jose Batista, we got a couple of Blue Jays. Jose Batista or BJ, now known as Melvin Upton Jr., Hunter Strickland or Chris Tillman, definitely not going starting pitching in this round. Not the biggest fan of live series, uh, Jose Batista, though. 88, 86, 68 is not the worst. Uh, Melvin Upton, 80 speed, very, you know, falling off a little bit. Uh, Hunter Strickland, 94 velocity, definitely need another arm in the bullpen. So, you know what? We pretty much got the three pitchers we need in the bullpen. Maybe one more uh, lefty arm. That's solid. Maybe if we can get another silver lefty arm, that would be perfect. Jason Hayward, Adam Eaton. You know what I mean? I love Adam Eaton in BR. 77, 76, 70. Uh, contact and vision. Not bad at all. David Wright, who has amazing contact versus the left. No longer has the power he used to. My boy, Carlos Martinez. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, my last, my last not official, but my last at bat in my career versus a baseball pitcher was against Carlos Martinez, and it was an infield hit that did not even make it out of, it, it didn't even make it to the grass, I don't think. I, I just beat it out and put it in a good spot. Uh, so if I see him again, I'm definitely not gonna let him hear the end of that because it it, it, it was just one of those days. Um, but he was probably, he was on the mound just trying things, and he threw me, after blowing by two fastballs, he just threw me a changeup that I rolled over on. Um, but, uh, will I be taking a silver starting pitcher? Jason Hayward, actually, I'm not too sure what he looks like. This is not very good. This is not a, not very good hitting card. Uh, so I'm going to stick to my Adam Eaton. I like Adam Eaton in the outfield. I like what he brings. Nick Swisher, switch hitting outfielder. Oh, Jesus. Can we get, can we get a better flashback Nick Swisher? An, like another, I know there's one already, but can we get a better flashback Nick Swisher? That, that would be great like like you know like an 88 overall Nick Swisher and with just ridiculous context ridiculous power and contact from both sides it would be a beast card uh but of course you know what season's over I really shouldn't be expecting that so you know what I'm really asking for 2017 uh just gonna go starting pitcher here in this, in this bronze round need to really get rid of those see there's that flashback Nick Swisher I was talking about 74 80 95 50 I definitely feel like uh 2000, I, I don't know. I thought 2010, there could have been a better card. Maybe 2009, 2008 may have had slightly better numbers. Not sure. I just feel like you can definitely get a better Nick Swisher card than an 81 flashback overall. Like Nick Swisher, I, I, I thought he had I thought he had some decent numbers for a couple years. Better than an 81 at least. Darwin Barney, not really enticing. 
All right. Joaquin Benoit. You know what? Relief pitcher. I need another lefty arm. Uh, actually, you know what? 74-80. The vision is so bad on this card. He did strike out a lot. So that makes sense. Uh, you know what? Screw it. You know what? I'm boycotting. I want Nick Swisher in the game. I want a better Nick Swisher. Uh, let's let's continue round, rounding up that rotation. So if we get bronze, we'll go rotation. Uh, Justin Upton, Danny Valencia, third base. You know what? I wanna I wanna. Oh snap! Danny Valencia has very good, pretty damn good numbers. 74, 96. If you get a lefty up there, he can handle righties. And wow, it's not a bad card at all. Trevor Rosenthal, 90 velocity relief pitcher. Edwin Jackson, starting pitcher. And Melvin's brother Justin, you know what? Let's take Trevor Rosenthal. That Danny Valencia card was enticing, but um, I'm gonna pass for now. But here, got another bronze round. Jose Ramirez, 70, 72, 77 on the day. Uh, 53, 54, 92 vision. That vision is really, really good. Never hurts to take a silver and a bronze round. Eddie Rosario looks pretty decent too. Daniel Hudson, 89 velocity. Ivan Nova flashback card, not the biggest fan. It's very average card. I'm gonna go with this Jose Ramirez. He's a switch hitter, so that's that's pretty much what you want. Uh, Michael Conforto had amazing stats in the beginning of the year. Corey Spangenberg had him in the last run, maybe not go with him now. 94 veloc velocity from Brian Morris. Uh, Miguel Gonzalez, you know what? Let's take this Brian Morris. 94 velocity is, is very enticing. Uh, here we got Coco Crisp. Contact versus right is 97. Another switch hitter. Very good fielding. Very above average speed. Also have Jerry's Familia. But I, I have so many righties already. And I'm definitely not taking a starting pitcher. Rugnet Odor, lefty bat. Contact's very average. You know what? Let's, uh, let's give Coco a try. I haven't used this card before. Let's see how well this card does. You know what? I'm just trying new cards right now. Uh, common round, starting pitching, of course. Need one more starting pitcher. And I only have two relief pitchers left, so you know what? I'm gonna go starting pitcher just so that we can pull a lefty reliever, hopefully. Silver round. Now I, I, I can't take starting pitcher. Uh, Brandon Phillips, very average stats. Pedro Valles, 89 Velocity, but Jeez, man, but I need a lefty. I need a left. I need another lefty in the bullpen. Maybe we can get another silver lefty All right, so here we go. We got Three lefty relief pitchers here. So they're listening. They know what they're doing 71 velocity 67 velocity Patrick Corbin 72 velocity. Uh, I'm not going purely based off Average, but I do think Patrick Corbin two seam slider four seam change up pretty solid little mix Four seam curveball change of slider. I do like that two seamer with a lefty. I'm going Patrick Corbin, who also had the best velocity. Uh, need hopefully one more lefty would be great, but you know what? I got screwed. I got nothing but righties and nothing but relief pitchers here. You got me. Um, Garza. And why couldn't this be a starter? Garza. Ill. Ill. Garza, four seam, two seam slider, and highest velocity. Welcome to the squad, Matt Garza. All right, silver round. Here we go. We got Yadier Molina, so we can get a starting catcher. We also have Gary Sanchez, starting catcher. Uh, we can put Ryan Howard at the top of the lineup. His vision is so bad. Dear God, his vision is so bad. But there's Rajai Davis, the lefty killer. Uh, this is tough. Do I go feel? What does my current catcher look like? Andrew Susak, who's a 71. Uh, Ryan, you know what? Let, uh, let's just take Ryan Howard. And we're going to throw him at the top of the lineup when we get a righty. Uh, four players here. We got third base, first base. Lomo, Juan Uribe, Pedro Alvarez, whose vision I think is 14. 39. It's just as bad. Tyler Saladino. Decent, very average, typical shortstop, can't hit, but that's decent defense. Juan Uribe, very good fielding for an overweight gorilla. Um, Lomo, nothing really special here except for Pedro Alvarez's power. 
Maybe. I don't know. All right, so here we go. We got a silver round, and we got three golds in this silver round. Uh, Andre Ethier, who's a very good lefty bat. 79-62 contact, 70 power, 41, 75 vision. Very decent fielding. Speed's not really there. Adrian Beltre, uh, who is our current third baseman? Jose Ramirez, uh, you know what? It's not the biggest upgrade. Uh, Eddie Murray, plus I don't hit that well with Adrian Beltre. Eddie Murray hits righties very well, left hand. Switch heading bat. Uh, very, very good vision. Doesn't hit as good from the right side, which doesn't matter because most pitchers are right-handed. And Lorenzo Cain, who crushes lefties. This Eddie Murray card is very enticing since it's switch hitting. I already have two first basemen on the bench and Albert Pujols at first, so it doesn't even make sense at this point. Coco Crisp, Adam E, and Nick Swisher in the outfield. Um, Jesus. We're very, it's, it, you know what? This game is very first base heavy. It, a lot of, too many good hitters are either outfielders or first basemen. I think we, I think, I think there needs to be a little more balance. I'm not saying that there aren't a ton of good hitting catchers, third basemen, you know, A-Rod and Joe Maurer, but I, I definitely think there's way more good hitting first basemen and outfielders. Maybe that's just because that's where most good hitters play. Um, but there, you can definitely have way better hitting shortstops and second basemen. I don't think there's enough balance. That, that's just it. I think there should be a little more balance in that. Uh, this is the toughest round I've had yet. Because uh, Andre Ethier has very good stats. I already have a first baseman. I have four first basemen. El Adrian Beltre and Lorenzo Cain. You know what? I, I wish I could go to the right and see if any of these players have a secondary position, but I, I can't do that, unfortunately. Um, so since we have outfielders or corner infielders, uh, whatever. I'm just going with Eddie Murray. That, that just sucks. It's a wasted pick because I, I really can't. I already have three. It's, it, that's annoying. All right, moving on. Uh, bronze round. We got two rounds left. Doesn't really matter. Just need some bench players. We can go Delano DeShields, who has pretty good speed. Uh, Alexi Ramirez, who made the final play in Mark Burley's uh, perfect game. History was made. Great call by the Hawk. Lucas Duda, Marlon Bird. Um, going with Delano DeShields with some speed. I feel like he deserves more than 84 speed. That just that may be me. But I feel like he deserves more than 84 speed. Another switch hit, hitting outfielder. Uh, and thrown with a really crappy catcher. Uh, a shortstop that I've seen three times in this draft, and uh, another catcher who hits, switch hitting catcher who hits poorly. So you just get too many outfielders, and there's not enough balance, especially in these drafts. Um, do I have time for a game? Not like it matters, because if I don't play this game, it, I'm just going to cut it out, and it's not going to make a difference to you guys. Um, I don't have time for this game, uh, but I'm going to play it anyways. So I'm going to fix this lineup, maybe try and throw th four first basemen in there, and go from there. All right, so extremely weird lineup as always. I like making really weird lineups. Um, Ryan Howard leading off if we get a righty, of course, because he cannot hit lefty. So if anyone brings in a lefty, I'm completely screwed. Uh, but I most likely try to double switch for Eddie Murray once we get to the pitcher position um, because I do believe Eddie Murray has better fielding, slightly better. Coco Crisp in left field. Albert Pujols at third base. It, this card's secondary position is not third base. Um, but you know, 20% hit, I'll live with it. I've played with worse people whose primary position is that, and it's much lower defense. Uh, Nick Swisher in the outfield. I, I got a lot of switch hitters. Adam Eaton's in there. Jose Ramirez, VR, and my catcher is absolutely atrocious. I should have drafted a second catcher. If I could put Eddie Murray at catcher, I probably would, but that's the one position position. I don't want to take a 20% hit and 20% of 70s in the fifties. So I, I definitely don't want that to happen because it's happened to me before where a pass ball from catcher, Joe Maurer, which was right here, was, you know, was about a, foot, a couple inches inside, but it cost me a game. So I'm, I'm not going through that again. Actually, Q Susak, what is your fielding? Fielding is 68. Is it worth it? I could put Eddie Murray there. You know what? I'm not going to do it. It's the lineup I'm going with. Uh, let's just jump into a game, man. All right, so here's what we're coming up against in the first game of this BR run. 
Kenny Lofton, Carlos Santana, Chase Utley, Alan Craig, Jake Lamb, Manny Machado, Josh Hamilton, Jake Marinsnick, Marinsnick, and Frankie Montez on the bump. Um, I got five minutes to be back at work, plus I've got a sleeping puppy under my legs. So if he does bark, I do apologize for that, but let's we make the best the of this. this evening Jeez, really, man? Really? On the show. It'll be Battle Royale 3 Why can't we just play on normal freaking fields, man? Alright, so my opponent thinks the best uh, option is to bring the corners in. Grounded to short. Doesn't matter, because we're going to ground out to short. Manny Machado... Is and going to throw, is throw it wide. The uh, my bullpen's already warm. I, I really. That's it. Your, your night is over. Um, who's my speedy guy? Delino. Delino to shields. That, come on now and your night is over. Here. Chances are you're getting a lefty anyway, so I'll bring in Eddie Murray. First offering on its way. Line to the right side. But Look at that. That ball just missed being a home run at 250 feet. A little early on the trigger. 3-1 hit and run. Why not? He's running towards second. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. After it is Marisnik. And this is why I absolutely despise this field. The runner from first. The runner from first crosses the plate around third and being waved on home. This field is so stupid. All right, we got a 2-1 count to Eaton. To deliver on 2-1. Now here's a ball hit in the Look at that. We hit that ball 280 feet for a home run. It and it is out of here. That was actually 386. I highly doubt that. And we're going to... I was going to say line out. But uh, on this field, you just never know. Even though that was absolutely user error. Three. I think that was really stupid with my catcher on deck and being as crappy as he is I, I think uh, you were better off walking me there All right, so I put Nick Swisher at first Delino DeShield is uh, In center field and I move Adam Eaton a right since he does have the best arm on this team Just need to pitch smart because in this field anything can happen really really quickly all right, so maybe speed out there would have been the move. Won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And a leadoff triple. With a curve in the dirt would be phenomenal. Down the first baseline. Played on the and we're gonna be smart and take the out. Can we get him fishing a slider without throwing it away? Patrick Corbin, give me a good one. Hey, on man, I hung a pitch on 0-2. That is a cardinal sin, man. But now we play with his head a little bit. And we're going to get the out. Well done. All right, still an 0-2-2. 0-2 count, two outs. To Coco. This field is huge. So that's going to stay in play. And there's the final out. Uh, Two-seamer. Let's put him away with a circle change up in the dirt. Foul right at no idea how he made contact. Four seam up. Great take. Great take. That's just a great take. And another good take. 57 70 15. 15 vision. 15 vision. 15 vision. Base hit here, his first of the night. is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it awesome phenomenal and time run at the plate and that's what we're doing first, so here it is on three and one three and two this guy this guy doesn't know that it's called the hitter's box to a fucking change up man and that misses just a bit late. Absolutely killing me. Look at the confidence two. on that two-seamer. Two and that's why we are where we are, giving up a run on walks. That's lifted the other Hanging way sinkers. But well, we're going to get away with it. Adam Ian, we haven't had much action yeah, since the first, the first inning. Pitch. And he's Here been able come. to shut me down. Lifted the other well, we're going to find a huge center. gap Lofton out there. On the move, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Around second. He'll try for third. The relay throw. And We're going to get a stand-up triple. It swung on and hit in the air. Not going to be able to find a gap there. I thought I hit that ball better than that. 
late on that, but you know what? Even though he's late on a fastball, we're going to change up next. Why do I overthink stuff? That's, that's bad pitching, overthinking stuff. What the hell was that at? What was that? Because uh, if we get a strike, I'm not throwing out. Throw him out here. It would be amazing. But you know what? I'll take a pop fly in the infield any day of the week versus Joey Bats 19. Hung that curveball just a tad, but it's live series Reyes. Thankfully not Diamond Reyes, or that might have been crushed at least 280 feet. One player to get through is Josh Hamilton. Lefty, on, or lefty at the plate, righty on the mound. And it's Josh Hamilton. I knew I was in for it. <sighs> Tying run at the plate. Or winning run at the plate. I like realism as much as the next guy. I personally would prefer perfect strike zone in a video game. Thank God we're going to get Deanna Navarro at the plate. And he's going to fly out to left, and we're going to come away with a win. 4-2, to two, I believe. GG's. All right, guys. Not a bad game. Not a bad way to start. Sorry that the introduction took a very long time. Just had a couple things I needed to say, you guys. I appreciate those of you who listened, those of you who watched the draft, and those of you who liked the gameplay. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you very much. I'm very late to work. I'm going to go back to work. Get home, edit this video up, throw it up, and try to play two more games tonight to get up for tomorrow or play Diamond Dynasty. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but anyways, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Wait. Also, if you want to interact with me, make sure you add me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as I will be doing giveaways on there. Uh, that is all at Jivy World. It should be on the top right corner anyways. Uh, and you guys know, yes, share stuff. Retweet stuff giveaway. That's pretty much it FIFA's updated. So now I can play FIFA. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it Peace guys Cold world, cold life, cold blooded I be on my shit and look at all the hoes Love it, got a hundred fifty bitches in the club staring at me How that feel? Very happy <laughs> I got what you need right there